Hello, what's up everybody? This is your girl Durgashri and welcome back to my channel. So in this video, I'm going to share you my experience as a cabin crew and how I ended up here, how I become a cabin crew. And I am 21 year old and uh, it's been two and a half months since I started working with Vistara and the experience has been amazing. A year ago, June, I was doing my degree final year degree then i was thinking what to do next and i suddenly got an idea that i can try for a cabin crew so i went to youtube i searched how to become a cabin crew what and all you can do to become a cabin crew what is the interview process how it actually happens so after getting so much knowledge i enrolled myself to indigo interview and i went to bangalore to give an interview first interview i got rejected then there i made some friends so they told me that they are trying from two years and they have given almost 20 to 30 interviews so i was like okay i need to do i need to put more effort I used to give interview to every other airline like air india express air india indigo Vista. but i used to get rejected because of my weight and you know because of some aspects maybe i was not that much confident like i am now so july i gave interview to vistara vistara told me that you are underweight so they told me to come after two months um again i went to vistara so uh, that time it was around uh, ninth time i was giving interview and i was like okay it's not happening i'm just going to give up i don't want this anymore but that day they got selected me because i gained weight i was 46 that time so my weight was perfect and you know somehow i was very confident and they selected me I was super happy. I just called my mom. I was like, mom, I finally got selected. And they were so happy. I was like, uh, finally, I got this job and I was just enjoying. So after 15 days, we cleared up with our medicals. After the medicals, we stopped getting revert back from the company. Like for six months, we were like, no clue they were not sending any emails they were just sending that sorry for the inconvenience that we will be processing your you know uh, job things after some time so we were waiting and it was six months in that six months guys you don't know the people who got selected that day were completely depressed and we were all calling each other and asking for the information do you have any information what is happening how how long we need to wait so the scene was completely depressed and so that time I went for the trips, you know, I used to, um, I try to make myself indulge in different work so I don't, you know, feel empty. But fortunately, February, we got a message like it was so sudden. I just opened up my message and I was like, okay, like we are going. They were like, after a week, you need to come to Delhi for the training. and. We called everybody, we were like, finally, our dream is coming true. After six months, you got that message, which you were desperately waiting. And that was like amazing. So I started preparing myself, like buying all the makeups and everything preparing. But one thing happened with me that was like, I went to powder waxing. There, my whole cheek got like burnt. I don't know what happened maybe because of I was allergic or something my bone skin got burnt and complete black thing black black you know and I was so scared that I was again depressed I was thinking that okay it's all done you know for a cabin crew beauty is mandatory your skin should be good you should be completely good so I was very much like you know I didn't know what to do so then I started applying a lot of things within five days somehow I cleared my face then I went to training and training was for four months because of some reasons it got extended like you know some exams DJ exam thing four months was so amazing I do miss my friends a lot you know the we were just waiting to become a cabin crew studying every day learning every day giving exams and somehow I passed all the exams that was a good thing about me that because it was so difficult for four months we kept ourselves busy with studying nothing else so after clearing all the exams, transfer happened. I came to Bombay and I settled down here. And I started flying as a cabin crew. And the time was when I did my first fan flight. That was like dream came true. Finally, I am inside the aircraft, you know, doing the work which I wanted. Then after that, you know, enjoying the layover. And it, it it's been so amazing for me. Somehow, you know, when I see, look at myself like, 
like a year ago i was completely different person now i'm completely different person because that's because of my job i'm this much confident i am you know this much groomed i am talking so much you know i'm enjoying all this lifestyle because my job and one more thing i have given a lot of things to this job like you know the efforts the time the money everything now everything is making sense but still there are very much bad things are there like you know your health you need to take care of your health uh, like meeting new people every day is not that good to be honest because you will be feeling lonely most of the times and uh, the salary part is not that much impressive like the thing we expected was you know like different and we got something different and because of the expense like you might be knowing that bombay is so expensive that you know however how much money i earn that will be gone like this so but apart from this i'm enjoying this lifestyle so guys in this video i just want to say to the people who are just giving interview guys don't lose your hopes one day you're gonna get selected i know it's gonna take a lot of things it's being a cabin crew takes a lot of patience takes a lot of courage you see the glamour from outside but the stress the, uh, the study we do the work we do it's really difficult and i'm hats off to the people who are just flying and doing their work honestly i'm so hats off for you guys and people who are just giving interview who are in the training process guys give your efforts sure one day you're going to be successful so thank you so much for watching this video so i'll be coming back with uh, more amazing travel layover vlogs so guys thank you so much for watching this video i love you so much if you like this video please like share subscribe and comment if you need more videos regarding the cabin crew please let me know i'll be uploading soon so thank you so much have an amazing day see you on board